Hi, everybody. I've been looking around and thinking and trying to decide exactly what I want to do next here. I actually have quite a few ideas. And one of the things I've decided is that I don't want a central platform with a bunch of walkways attaching to all the different spots. I mean, I could probably come up with a whole bunch of different walkways built on different themes and so on. But it just... It binds me to this same central platform and it makes it hard for me to take one thing completely apart to replace it. At least in my mind it does. So the first thing I'm going to do is make some travel anchors from Ender I.O. and maybe a travel wand. I think that would be a good start. And the first new platform I'm going to build is going to be for Batania. Okay, maybe I need a new plan. Before I do that, I still need auto crafting. So yeah, screw all that I said just a moment ago. We're going to do something else entirely. I need to make a refined storage system. And storage. And I need to hook it up to my mob farm so that I can actually store all the stuff from it. All right, so I have got the ref basic refined storage set up with the controller, which is just hooked up to an RF source, solderer, disk drive, one storage disk, and a grid. I don't know if more controllers makes any difference at all. I'm going to have to do some more reading up on this thing, but I now have a place to put all my things. And it's expandable. And it's got a crafting grid in it, which is really handy. And crafter. From what I've read, it's pretty simple to use. Although it looks different than the ones I've seen in the other uh, tutorial videos, I do think I like the look of it. So let's make some patterns. Let's start with a construction core. So if I tell this I want one construction core, it tells me it has all the stuff for it, and I have a construction core. So yeah, simple as that. And apparently I can point this end into a machine to have it uh, put the recipe in the machine. So that's what I'm going to do next with uh, some alloy smelters. No, actually, I'm going to tell this how to make an alloy smelter. Oh, 
Okay, after minutes and minutes of painstaking work, I have managed to come up with the recipe for an alloy smelter, which I shall now tell it to make. And we're missing three iron. Not a problem. You now have a stack. Make me a smelter. Okay, copper and gold. Also, not problems. Now, how about that cookie thingy? And alloy smelter. And for my next trick, I'm going to teach it providing power in through here, I'm going to teach it to make pulsating nuggets for a travel anchor. So yeah, one big difference between this and applied energistics that I have noticed is that we don't have the separate crafting devices that the interface is hooked up to. The crafter and the interface is basically the same thing. Which is actually kind of cool. Okay, so I need a processing pattern encoder in order to make patterns that work outside the system. Then to in machines and such. So there's that. And we want one of these, one of these, and one of these. And then we can just tell it to put, take two of these and that equals one of these. Ten patterns. And the encoder. One of which will show this thing how to make pulsating iron. And we need ender pearls. And start. And off it goes. Smelting its little heart out. Only to have its product sucked back into the system. Through the importer. and pulsating iron. Which the system now knows how to make into nuggets. And We'll soon know how to make into pulsating crystals. And travel anchors. And I think I need another crafter. And one pattern here, one pattern here, 
and we should now be able as soon as I throw diamonds into the system. Now we should be able to make a pair of travel anchors. And there's one, and we're cooking up the uh, pulsating iron for the other. Although I forgot to put this back into the system, so. A pair of travel anchors. I can make a traveling wand, I think, but I don't want to mess with that right now. Right now, what I want to mess with is making an island for Botania. So we're going to change this shape. I think we can make bowls, right? Solid bottom dome. That's like a bowl. Yeah, we don't want it quite as... Well, maybe we do want it quite as big as this. Okay, we'll make it as big as that, but not as deep. We'll make it four deep, and I don't want it solid yet. I want to make the uh, main part of the bottom dome out of stone, which means I'm going to have to cook up a bunch of smooth stone. About 12 stacks of it. And then I can start worrying about the dirt that I'm going to put in it. Okay, I think this will be a decent place to put it. That's where I'm going to put it anyway. Okay, good news is the bowl is complete. The bad news is, well, look at this mess. I finished it off at night, and so I did not take time to light it properly. So I get to get some target practice. Now it's time for dirt. Now we only have 13 stacks. I hope it's enough. you in there anymore and you are now going to be a solid bottom dome and we shall reactivate you and see if we've got enough dirt It actually would have surprised me quite a bit if we did have enough dirt. I decided to uh, bolster the uh, rate at which I was generating dirt. I would plant some dirt seeds, and that seems to be going fairly well. I've almost got a stack of essence which will let me do the recipe eight times, which will let me 
have 12 dirt with each recipe, so that's 80 plus 16 is uh, 96. So close to a stack and a half. Right at a stack and a half, actually. And that might bring us pretty close to being done, although I think it's going to take at least three more stacks. This still gets us halfway there. Oh, three stacks. My math is terrible. But my island's good. As soon as I put down a couple more mineral torches. All we need now is some grass. And I should have grass seeds around here somewhere. Carrot, there we are, grass seeds. All right, so there we have our perfectly nice grass island on which to start our Botania studies. Which I will begin next episode. I think I made this an even number of meters wide, which makes it a little more difficult for uh, centering things up. But I guess it'll be okay. And travel anchor. Cool. So there's our auto crafting, travel anchors, and beginning Batania Island. Next episode, I'm going to read a book about flowers. Until then, have some fun, build something cool, and have a nice day.